California? You know, I think the existence of natural fractures and also, you know, within the shale, there's a lot of laminations of carbonates uh, that sort of promotes the use of uh, acid systems. Uh, you know, the laminations, which are sometimes carbonates, allow the use of HCL to be used to create these wormholes and penetrate deep. And I think the existence of natural fractures helps with acid fracturing, where you can actually connect to the natural fractures and be able to produce from those, which maybe we don't see in other shell formations as much as we see in California. In, in looking at similar fields, you know, I was talking about the three cases where they actually have used a hybrid system, where they have used acid fracturing, in addition to pop and fracture, it's a combination of both, maybe in one stage or two different stages. I think there's a, pro a lot of promise with those you know, hybrid systems. And its own, I, I don't think it's, it's a solution, but I think a combination of both, where you get the benefit from acid factoring of sort of connecting natural factors, and with the prop and you get the benefit of you know, actually creating a fracture which is a long length, which, would you, which is what you need for these tight formations. I think that's really the solution, and that's, that, that I think is very promising, especially the cases that we've seen which are similar in other areas of the world. And have you seen uh, or heard of companies like Oxy, and you mentioned ConocoPhillips, are they experimenting very actively with this in California? Not to my knowledge, but you know, I'm, I'm not very familiar, so I, I don't know. Sure. You know there might be property, priority sure. information I'm not sharing. I mean, looking at matrix acidizing, because it's such a relatively cheap operation, sure. you know, not a lot of work is being done. Because in matrix acidizing, it's relatively low volumes compared to hydraulic factoring, and it's really cheap. So I think people are just doing it without, sure. you know, really seeing the impact. With acid fracturing, it's more expensive. You know, you have to use a lot of you know, pressure pumps. So there's more of a sort of steady. The other issue is with acid fracturing, it's such a sort of a stochastic process, it's very hard to sort of model and sort of be, sort of specify how, what's happening exactly. So I think that's why a lot of users, people are skeptical and not going forward with it because they really don't know if it works and it's really specific to each formation and each sort of heterogeneity which is captured and it's really local to the formation. So I think that's the fashion you really have to do local analysis and sort of in local uh, sort of tests, you know, before deciding. And there's no one general model or solution that applies to all, which is, you know, applies more to hydraulic factoring.